Five Unsettling Cases of Kids Who Kill. It's both quite scary and disheartening that even the young members of our society, those we always thought to be of gentle spirits and have an optimistic view in life, are also capable of committing murder. Today, we're going to look at five unsettling cases of youngsters who kill people in the coldest and the most brutal of ways. Number five, Zachary Davis. Zachary Davis is a timid boy from Hendersonville, North Carolina, who in a fit of anger murdered his own mother with a sledgehammer and even set their house on fire while his older brother slept. In an interview with Dr. Phil McGraw in his show Dr. Phil, Davis shed out some of the most chilling details about the murder. Did you kill your mother? Me, me, yeah. You killed your mother? When the host asked why Davis struck his mother, Melanie Davis, with a sledgehammer 20 times, the youngster, in a flat and monotonous voice, answered that he just wanted to make sure she was dead. According to experts, David's cold demeanor and lack of remorse are clear manifestations of a deeply disturbed mind. Davis's records indicated that he had a history of mental illness. This happened when his father, Chris Davis, passed away when he was still nine years old. The boy was taken to see a psychiatrist, who noted that he was deeply affected with the father's death, so much so that it snapped him out of his senses. During his arrest and trial, Zachary confessed that he also planned to kill his brother, Josh, using the same weapon he used on his mother. Zachary is currently serving a life sentence for first-degree murder, attempted murder, and aggravated arson. Number 4. Charles Andrew Williams, Jr. One of the most difficult things to deal with when you're a teenager is bullying. Some can overcome it. Others manage to survive the ordeal. And then there are those who have just had enough. That they decide to take matters into their own hands. Charles Andrew Williams Jr. of Frederick, Maryland, belongs to the latter. On March 5, 2001, Andy walked into the bathroom at his school, armed with a 22 caliber revolver and a heart filled with anger and frustration. The 15-year-old kid shot two of his classmates. He then walked out of the bathroom and fired indiscriminately at other students who happened to pass by. A security guard attempted to talk Andy down, but got himself shot instead. Soon enough, police officers stormed the area, where they found Andy kneeling on the floor. The incident ended with 15 people getting shot, two of whom unfortunately died. During his arrest, Andy told the police he was already tired of being picked on. So he did something about it. Unfortunately, his decision has him with a 50 years to life in prison, with possibility of parole. Number 3. Luke Woodham Problems at home, abusive treatments from adult, molestation, or mere neglect. These are just some of the common factors that experts point out as the cause for teenagers to become violent and murderous. Luke Woodham's case is different, however. The boy, born and raised in Pearl, Mississippi, was known to be a well-behaved individual and a bright student. No one knows exactly what snapped inside of him, but he went dark all of a sudden. On October 1st, 1997, Luke, who was 16 years old then, beat and stabbed his mother, Mary Woodham, to death. He drove the victim's car to school where he would continue his killing spree. Armed with a rifle, which he hid inside his jacket, he shot nine of his classmates, instantly killing two of them. A teacher managed to subdue Luke. When asked about his motive, he replied, Life has wronged me, sir. You think this is a spell? This is God's will. Investigations pointed out his affiliation with a pseudo-cult headed by a killer named Rod Farrell. Several pieces of Luke's writings revealed hints of extremely violent mentality. He is currently serving multiple life sentences in a state penitentiary. Number 2. Sarah Kolb Jealousy can be a very dangerous emotion. Like some adults, 
Teens can also be pushed to do unthinkable things when confronted with competition. Sarah Kolb, Corey Gregory, and Nathan Godet, all 16 at the time, were peas in a pod. However, their friendship would soon change when Adrian Reynolds came into their lives. Pretty, amicable, and very talented, these qualities drew everyone's attention to the new girl in school. Adrian eventually winded up in Sarah's circle. They couldn't be happier. However, jealousy among the three friends began to rise when they, including Sarah, began expressing romantic interest towards Adrian. Eventually, chaos ensued between their friendship. Adrian attempted to mend things off and agreed to meet them. Sarah and Adrian suddenly had a heated argument which escalated very quickly. According to documents, Corey held down Adrian while Sarah beat the victim with a wooden bat and strangled her with a belt, killing Adrian in the process. They tried to dispose of the body by burning it with gasoline. They later chopped off parts before burying them in a park. Sarah was sentenced to 53 years in prison in 2006, while Corey got off with five years in juvenile detention. Number 1. Amarjit Sada. We reserved the most cold-blooded of them all. Amarjit Sada. This eight-year-old kid from India killed his cousin and his little sister. Unpunished, he went on to kill their neighbor's infant. When authorities asked of his motives, the kid would only give a smirk and a remark. Because I liked it. While in custody, Amarjit appears very timid but is very fond of showing off his wicked little smile, a thing that would scare off other people. Psychiatrists believe the child to be a sadist, one who derives pleasure from others' pain and suffering. Amarjit was eventually taken away. His whereabouts are unknown. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.